we have, uh, or I have, I should say, a bunch of PMs and whatnot. Uh, a few of them not very nice. Uh, I, I Number one, I can't comment on other traders. I can only focus on my trading and trades. Um, and number two, try to be kind. Don't you know? I'm sorry if you got liquidated due to a, a, a trade. Um, there are some good, um, you know, uh, methods to use, such as not putting all your money into Bitmex uh, and putting all your money or on a highly leveraged trade. Uh, another thing. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll post the in the room some of the the tips to Bitmex. I think I have them on Smart Options. That would be wise for you to, to look at. All right, so let's get down to Litecoin. Um, I posted this chart ahead of time, and uh, this is what I call don't fight the dragon. We've seen the sea monster pattern, and uh, everything was very oversold with Bitcoin being flat. You can see Bitcoin being flat and whatnot. It had its one move up and then just went sideways. And then, boom, drops. And, um, you know, that's where we are. And I, I think it's mainly due to the other pairs, not so much Bitcoin. But these were extremely overbought, and I pointed this out ahead of time the past few days, if anybody cared to listen. Um, and uh, it was logical for them to pull back. And their support points are far below. Uh, we can see here. We can see geometry here. This actually traded down to 0.4 off of this. So Ethereum is pretty much done as far as the pattern goes. Um, now support points. I don't see anything on Ethereum until much lower. Um, it could bounce in this area here. Uh, again, these were very strong. This is just uh, for the big move they had. Remember, I was a buyer down here, if we uh, remember. Um, and where was that around here? This area down there. You know, that was a buy zone for me. And I sold this one and, and way beyond what I was targeting, which was this area. I sold it all the way up to above 35, um, and now it's come right back down to there. So this is all logical. There's nothing surprising about this. BCH, again, this was extremely overbought too. We can see this one right here. This one actually went under its 61.8. That's a good sign. That's what you want to see um, from its high. Down and it's low all the way down here in the 70s. Look at that, it goes from the 70s all the way to <laughs> the 230 range. Holy mackerel, what a crazy range! And then it pulls back logically, hits 61.8 or greater, and it really has no support. All I can see is this down here visually, and all the way down back to here on the back end. So keep that in mind. Um, and then we have. Um, Tron, which is one that's just exaggerated. Look at that huge range. Of course, this is BitMEX, so I don't know how much of this is real. This is totally different than on um, uh, on your BitMEX. If I go over and I put in um, TRXH19, right, we can see that it has no correspondence to that move and whatnot. And I was a seller right here in the 60 range. And now we've had that drop by a goodly amount. Um, again, the geometry, if we go back to that, we can see where that lies. And uh, I see numbers all the way down here and possibly all the way down to here. And really no support until here. Um, so uh, it could be a long, ugly drop um, ahead of time. Uh, but anyway, all of those were extremely overbought. They had the geometry. They had self-similar, smaller patterns inside of them, large divergences, and they went to these zones. And this one spikes above it, but how much of this is real is up for debate. Um, and then back to Litecoin, my favorite geo. Uh, for what it has in its chart, this was a, a screaming sell. And this had a time trade 
on it as well. My algos had this um, located as a time trade right from this point all the way goes down to here. That was a zone, so we'll look at that like this. And that's one of the key points. Um, so there you go. You see the geometry. Um, now retracement wise, I, again, looking lower numbers on Litecoin. And um, one other thing is that I do is I, I don't use over exaggerated amounts of leverage on trades. I use them to counter usually coin that I have. For example, longs I might have on Bitcoin from uh, 3200 to 3590, 3450. Uh, I was selling um, Tron, uh, Ethereum, and Litecoin to hedge those trades. And this is something that people don't understand uh, with BitMEX and um, uh, you know, and I'll have to work numbers out because uh, we, nobody really does that. You know, they, instead they want to, you know, they want to fight the dragon and, and use as high a leverage as they can and, and risk, you know, what funds they have there. Um, you know, again, I'm going to post what I have on smart options. One of the things I'll tell you is never put all your money, all your trading funds into any one exchange or broker, um, you know, um, to trade and uh, be logical in your trades because if something goes wrong on BitMEX, um, you could get liquidated. And you know, that is, you know, I don't know what to say. Anyway, the short side of things um, has started to work themselves out. And uh, I did inform people that ahead of time. Again, I won't comment on other traders or trades that go wrong. You know, if you're emotional about them, I'm sorry. I'll give you best practices to use, and we'll go from there. Other than that, I'm going to go have some coffee. I just woke up, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.